The next block is L10, and L10 has a modified block, so we're going to work directly from the booklet. So here we have our layout, and I've laid out my pieces over here on the table, just like they're laid out on the booklet. So we've got our B and our A's put in the exact right space, and we're going to have our uh, trapezoids and the thing we're going to work in units. There's different ways that you can form your units on this. You can use the A, B, and trapezoid unit, or you can use these top three units here, or various different situations. I think I'm going to use this whole section on the bottom that go together, and then that whole section on the side. This way I can split it up. Now we're going to go to basting, and we're going to baste our diamonds. We're going to do the opposite sides and then the opposite sides. Our trapezoids, we're going to do the short sides and then the other long side at the last. This way it'll keep our tags away from the center. Then when we go to the middle, we're going to do the points before we do the outside portions. Then we also have to work on these bottom pieces. We've got these little tiny flat sides that are going to go first, and then we're going to do the point, and then we're going to do the bottom. So the first section we're going to do is this whole side section, and we're going to base those right here. We're going to do the A and the B to the trapezoid. So I've got my two pieces connected, and I have my flower going in the right direction. So now it's just a matter of basting my A diamond on opposite sides and opposite sides, and then attaching it to the two pieces I just did. So now my A diamond is attached to the other two pieces and the flowers are going in the same direction. I'm going to go over here and attach my A diamond to the top of my B. I'm going to base opposite sides and then opposite sides. On my trapezoid, I'm going to base these short angle sides and then the sh other sides before attaching them and then I can attach it to that. So I've got my two pieces connected to each other and now it's just a matter of attaching it to the other unit. So I've got this side completely done, and now I'm going to go over to this side and do the exact same thing as I did on the first side. So I have finished basing B and I've attached these three pieces. So next I'm going to baste these two pieces just the same way as I did over here. I'm going to base the long sides and then these edges so then my tabs will be going away from the square as they are on the other side. So I have this whole section completed now and all of my flowers are going the same direction. So now I'm going to baste this guy and I'm going to baste the points first and then I will do this long side and then I will connect each of these sides to the center. So I've attached this side to the center piece, and when I met this corner, I wanted I pulled this towards here and then this towards there to make that little X stitch to make sure that I close that gap as much as possible for this corner here. So next I'm going to attach the other side to here. I've attached this section to the center. So now I have essentially a butterfly and all of my fabric is going in the correct direction. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to work on this bottom part and I'm just going to put this together piece by piece. So I'm going to base this and attach one of these and then attach this and then attach this and attach this to make this whole unit. When I base these pieces with this little bitty flat side I'm going to base the flat sides first to make sure that they're as accurate as possible and then I will base these points before basting this raw, this long side. And when I do my folding of my fabric, I want to make sure that I try to keep that point as, as close to this as possible so that I can get the most accuracy. You can fudge it when you, if you, if you mess it up, it's fine. You can fudge it when you sew it together, but this way you can have the most accurate distance here if you do this first and then these points. So I've got these two pieces already basted and then I've attached them and so that's those go there and then the next one is this one and I basted these little bits first and then this and then this was my last base. I'm going to do the same thing 
on this piece and then attach it to that section. Next piece is attached and I made sure that when I attached it here that I lined up the bottom section. So now I'm going to base this one and I'm going to base it the same way I did this. So I'll do this side, these sides first and then these sides before attaching it to this section here. We got the fourth piece attached and the flowers go in the same direction. Now I've just got to attach the fifth piece to finish this bottom section. Now I've got all five pieces attached for the bottom section. Oops. So we've got this whole thing attached right here. And then I've got my little, little center butterfly section. So as long as I make sure that my flowers are the same direction, I'm going to plop this on the bottom here and get this all seamed up and connected. So I've attached this whole bottom section to my middle butterfly section, so now it looks like this. Now what I'm going to do is this whole top section, which is exactly the same as the bottom. So I will baste and attach all of these to themselves to form this whole top section. So I've completed my top section of this block and I've attached it to this center portion. So now I have a completed L10 block.